Tigers today with Medicine Hat Tigers forward Kale Cassie. Uh, first of all, Kale, uh, I guess uh, tell me your age and your birthday. I'm born December 4th, 1992. I'm 18 right now. I turn 19 in December. And how many years have you been with the Tigers for? Uh, this is my third full year, and uh, I played a little bit when I was 16 at the end of my midget year. All right, I guess uh, where were you born and raised? I was born and raised in Sean, Saskatchewan. It's about 1800, and it's uh, just a great community to grow up in, and I'm just uh, proud to be from there. Uh, brothers, sisters, uh, what do your parents do? Yeah, I got uh, one sister. She's in Regina right now. Uh, she's working for Ultrasound. Uh, she signed a contract there, so she's got a job already and stuff like that. Uh, my mom and dad, uh, my mom's a lab and x-ray technician at the local hospital in Sean, and my dad's a consultant for uh, Talisman Energy. Uh, minor hockey, you played all your minor hockey in Shaunavan area, I guess? Uh, no, I, I played there until uh, first year of Pee Wee, then I moved to Swift Current and started playing uh, my two years Pee Wee there, and then uh, I came up to the Hat uh, in Bantam, I moved away from home uh, when I was 12 and started uh, playing Bantam in the Hat, and uh, that's where I came uh, here from. Shaunavan uh, got a new rink, have you been able to check that out? Yeah, I was there in the summer for the grand opening, uh, that was a great event to be a part of. Uh, it's unfortunate I couldn't have been there for the home exhibition game, but uh, hopefully they have a few more to come and just uh, it's great that uh, they're supporting the uh, Western Hockey League and stuff like that and hopefully they can have a couple more down the road. Do they have a sign up the home of Kale Kessie yet at all or no? Uh, no, uh, they have a Haley Wickenheiser and Braden Coburn sign, so uh, I'm not sure if they'll be making one, but I'm just happy to be from there and just uh, trying to make the most of it. Uh, Pre-game routine, do you have one at all? I uh, Just uh, pretty much the same, just keep it simple, just tape my sticks and do a regular stretching and foam roll and ride the bike and then we have a team jump around as well. Do you have any superstitions? Are you one of those guys that has to put on your left skate first or anything like that? I uh, know not really superstitions, but I do like putting my left skate on first. Uh, uh, it's just been a habit for me, I guess, but uh, nothing really superstitious. Small town Saskatchewan boy, uh, probably had a lot of time on your hands growing up. Uh, tell me about some crazy stuff you did. Any uh, pyromaniac things, uh, anything that involved a gun maybe at all that you can maybe tell people? I uh, know we uh, coyote hunt uh, in the winter, I guess, at Christmas uh, with all the friends and that. So uh, that's something, I guess, uh, we always did and just, I you know, go for hunting and stuff like that. So I was pretty fun down there. So uh, a lot of stuff to do. Been known to drop the gloves a couple of times. When did that whole thing start? Uh, actually, I've never been in a fight till my first Western Hockey League game. Uh, my against Kootenai, against Jesse Isman, that was my first ever uh, fight and uh, I don't know, I don't really go looking for it but uh, after a big hit or something like that for sure, uh, I'm not afraid to drop my gloves or if uh, we need some momentum or something like that but uh, I definitely don't go looking uh, to start a fight but uh, if we're down or two, uh, I'm not afraid to fight. When did that suddenly click? Like, why did, why did that, you were just like, I got to fight now, or when did that happen? I uh, know, I think it's just uh, you're in the game and just uh, everyone's competing out there, and it's just an adrenaline rush, and uh, it's just a spur of the moment, really. So I think it just happens. Um, tell me about that moment when you were drafted. Uh, it's definitely a very uh, special moment. Uh, just uh, very proud to go to an organization like the Phoenix Coyotes. And uh, yeah, I was actually uh, in Minnesota there, and my agent and all that were there. Uh, I was at the draft, I met with the Coyotes uh, the day of the draft, so uh, I don't know, they said they were interested and stuff like that. I was just sitting in the stands and I got drafted fourth round, uh, 111th overall to the Phoenix Coyotes. And after that, I went to the summer development camp in the summer and then I was just at their rookie and uh, main camps here. What kind of experience is that like for you? Uh, it was a great experience. Uh, just meeting guys like Shane Doan and Ray Whitney, uh, guys that have been in the league for a long time and just uh, taking advice from them. Uh, they're great guys, they work hard and off the ice, so you can definitely uh, take a couple pointers from them. Has there been some advice maybe growing up from uh, a coach, a parent or something that's been kind of st uh, stuck out in your mind most of your life? Uh, well, actually, I uh, used to bill it with uh, Ryan Aceman, who's here right now, and his dad, Tony Aceman, who's passed away. Uh, he was uh, great. He was like second dad to me, and uh, I took a lot of advice from him. Uh, he's a very knowledgeable hockey guy, so uh, uh, he was definitely one of them for sure. Are you a user of social networking, Facebook and Twitter? Uh, yeah, I do have Facebook and Twitter. Yeah. How many followers do you have on Twitter? Uh, I'm not sure exactly. I just got it uh, a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago. Who's the best guy to follow? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, HS9, maybe. I think he might be a good one to follow. Uh, 100. Biz Nasty, I guess? Yeah, Biz Nasty 2.0. Uh, he's very funny. And uh, oh, there's some of the celebrities. And uh, I, don't know, I think it's cool just to uh, see what uh, they're all doing. Which uh, guy on the team likely has the most followers? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, probably Emerson Edom. I'm thinking uh, tweet him up. He likes to tweet a lot. So uh, I think he probably has uh, one of the most. Or Hunter Shankarika too, HS9. I, I think he uses it a lot too. 
What are you expecting from yourself this year, I guess, uh, and what was the advice coming out of the camp in Phoenix? Going to every game like it's my last and just uh, work hard and just uh, they told me just keep playing my game, just be physical and just uh, be mean out there and just uh, be mean in front of the net and stuff like that. So I'm just going to take that into this year and just uh, focus on the team first and just do whatever I can to uh, take us far. All right. That is a uh, Tigers today with forward Kale Kessie. Go Tigers!